Hello and welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep IAS. Welcome to the big news. The topic for today's discussion, National Statistics Day and PC Mahalonobis. Before we understand what this topic is, we have a quick gentle reminder. As part of knowledge series, we have been helping you to understand some of the static part of the UPSC Civil Services examination. To help you further, we have come up with number of important topics. One is to do with the urban flood, right to equality, Sendai framework for disaster risk reduction, partition of Bengal and Swadeshi movement, El Nino and La Nina, Indra Savani case, Lokpal, police reforms as well as the Montreal protocol. All these are some of the important topics from the UPSC examination point of view. So please do tune in as per the corresponding date as well as time so that you understand what these topics are and at the end of the session you would also ask your questions and the faculty will also respond to your questions as well. Let's get started and try and understand what is this topic all about. The National Statistics Day is celebrated every year on June 29 on the birth anniversary of the late Professor Prasanta Chandra Mahalonobis to mark his contribution in the field of statistics and economic planning. The Government of India has been celebrating June 29th every year as the National Statistics Day. This is to popularize the use of the statistics in our daily life and it also shows the importance of the statistics in the national policies. So the objective of the day is to create public awareness especially to the younger generation for drawing inspiration from the professor about the role and importance of statistics in the socio-economic planning as well as the policy formulation. Do note, every year we have different themes that are selected by the government. The theme for the Statistics Day 2022 is Data for Sustainable Development. This is chosen as per the contemporary national importance. So what is the importance of statistics? What is this statistics? Statistics is basically collection, organization and interpretation of data. It is very important tool that is at the disposal of the government. Let's say the government has to come up with number of policy initiatives to bring down the poverty levels in the country. So what should the government require? The government requires the statistics. So statistics plays a very significant role in promoting democracy good governance, transparency and accountability. Let's say there is a remote area. The remote area, not much of the people are educated. How will the government know about it? Through the statistics. If government has to come up with poverty reduction and economic development in multiple regions, what it requires is the statistics. So statistics basically highlights all the resources that we require, all these resources, how it has to be utilized and how all the resources that is at the disposal end of the government can be efficiently used. So statistics is nothing but collection, organization and interpretation of data so that we can ultimately reach a particular goal point. When it comes to the National Statistics Day, it is celebrated because of the birth anniversary of Professor Prashant Chandra Mahalonobis. So let us try and understand key contributions of Professor Prashant Chandra Mahalonobis. Mahalonobis was born to a wealthy Bengali family in Kolkata on 29th of June 1893. His family members were actively involved in the Brahmo Samaj movement. After finishing his schooling in Calcutta, he joined the Presidency College from where he received a bachelor's degree in physics. His teachers there included eminent scientists like Jagdish Chandra Bose and Prafulla Chandra Roy. In 1913, he left for England to pursue the higher education. Although he set out to study at the University of London, he missed his train. Because he was not able to travel on this train, he had to join the King's College at Cambridge. There, he completed his repose in physics, a chance reading of the journal Biometrica, which focused on theoretical statistics, intrigued his interest in the subject of statistics. He brought the entire volume of the journal back to India, began studying it, he then discovered the efficacy of statistics in solving some of the problems of anthropology and meteorology. So even if his background was something to do with physics, he was fascinated by statistics and which is why he put his heart and soul into the statistics and he understood the importance of statistics in solving number of issues in the country. What have been his contributions for the country? In 1920s, he established a statistical laboratory in the presidency 
Presidency College where he taught physics. He established the Indian Statistical Institute in Calcutta on 17th of December 1931 with help from a colleague as well as friends. In 1959, the institute was declared as a deemed university and an institute of national importance as well. Mahalonobis contributed to the field of statistics through his research and findings. He is remembered mostly for the Mahalonobis distance which is denoted as D2. D square is a multivariate distance measure which is used for comparing and grouping populations. He also invented an instrument used for measuring skull measurements known as profiloscope. So remember he comes up with an instrument which is called as the profiloscope. He contributed towards the subject of physical anthropology as well but his greatest contribution lay in the field of large scale sample surveys. Mahalanobis initiated the concept of pilot surveys. The techniques of random sampling introduced by him has been regarded as the most accurate in the world. His research also improved the estimation of the crop yields as well. He also was an important member of the planning commission starting from the second five year plan. Mahalanobis and Russian Grigory Fieldman independently developed a neo-Marxian economic developmental model now known as Fieldman Mahalanobis model. Do note, in 1933, he also founded Sankhya, which happens to be an Indian journal of statistics. He was instrumental in establishing the National Sample Survey in 1950. In fact, he also played a significant role in Rabindranath Tagoreji's dream project, where Rabindranath Tagoreji founded the Vishwa Bharati and Mr. Mahalonobis not only served as a joint secretary of Vishwa Bharati for about 10 years, but he also became the member of the governing body, executive council, academic council, agriculture board of this Vishwa Bharati University, which was established by Rabindranath Tagore. He was not averse to technology. He wanted to adopt technology as well. So the physicist turned statistician played a key role in the advent of design, development and use of modern computing machines in India. Mahalanobis never shied away from technology, whether in bringing statistical technology through the volumes of Biometrica in his voyage from England or even bringing computers to India. In 1950, Mahalanobis consolidated computing related activities under the umbrella of an electronic computer laboratory at ISI with the objective of taking the next logical step, development of an electronic computer. In fact, the Mahalanobis led Indian Statistical Institute procured India's first computer in 1956 and the second in the year 1959. Because of the large scale contributions that he has made towards India, he was also awarded number of awards as well. He was the recipient of several awards like the Order of the British Empire, Weldon Memorial Prize, Fellow of the Royal Society, Fellow of the Econometric Society, Foreign Member of the Academy of Sciences of the USSR, Honorary Fellow of Royal Statistical Society, Society, Honorary Fellow of King's College Cambridge, Fellow of American Statistical Association, Durga Prasad Kaitan Gold Medal and Padma Vibhushan as well. And in the year 2006, the Indian government decided to observe his birth anniversary of 29 June as the National Statistics Day. These are some of the important factual data that you have to know with respect to the National Statistics Day as well as PC Mahalanobis. It is this that we have to understand with respect to this topic. So this is it for today. Thank you for watching. All the best.